Yo, this is your boy James over at Expecto Go bringing you guys the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. And today we have a surprise update uh, coming from Harry Potter Wizards Unite. I literally just found it on my phone. I had updated apps and Harry Potter Wizards Unite was one of them. So I was like, yo, what is going on? So I read the description and oh my gosh. Yo, the thing we've all been asking for, animation cuts. Like, leaving the animation is finally part of the game, which is just a great quality of life feature that they added, along with some other ones. So, let's get into the details. This is coming from Phases. Of course, we all know and love her. She's the in-between, the bridge between the community and the developers over Niantic and the Harry Potter Wizards Unite team. So, this is what she has to say. We have updated Harry Potter Wizards Unite to app version 2.4.0. Check out all the latest additions, bug fixes below. We're not going to go over all the bug fixes. If you guys want to read all of that, I'll leave a description for the Discord, the Reddit link, and um, I even, uh, I think Jibs Entertainment had all that information as well. First, brilliant event. We have a brilliant event for this month, and it's going to be two weeks. Fighting Forces is what it is called. Uh, get ready to earn more restricted books and unlock a new port key location with October's brilliant event. Uh, week one is going to be um, October 8th through the 14th and week two is going to be October 22nd through the 28th. So fighting forces, uh, some people were talking about is it the Battle of Hogwarts where we see like uh, the Sword of Gryffindor pop up again, uh, maybe some new foundables. Um, I don't know. Could this be the Order of the Phoenix? Could we see members of the Order of the Phoenix? Uh, the OG cats or the new ones? I mean, it, it could be numerous things. Um, I'm excited to find out. Let's continue. Encounters, the big one. When you successfully cast a spell and return a foundable, you will not be able to skip through the return animation uh, by tapping on the screen. This will only be possible once you've already returned one fragment of the foundable. So you would, you don't need to have returned um, all the fragments. You just need to have returned one fragment for that said foundable, and you'll be able to skip the animation. I like watching them, but when I have my peripheral brain elixir going, time is of the essence so this is huge again something you all in the community have been asking for and they came through big time also greenhouses you can now tap to skip the pot shuffling animation when you visit a greenhouse again quality of life saving time 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 this is amazing let's keep going uh registry bought um Bogrod the Goblin is now available in photo mode, which is cool. Uh, more cats I can take pictures with. I'm all for it. AR photos, check out our Instagram. All our AR photos are there. A uh, little plug. Uh, portrait, you will now, you will no longer have to tap each lens, frames, or stickers in your ministry ID portrait to dismiss the new badge or the red dot. Thank God, because you always had to go through and find where the red dot was, whether it's the frame, the stickers, all that cast. No longer, no longer, all that is fixed. Uh, port keys, if you open another huge quality of life one, if you open multiple port keys at once, you will now only get one dialogue box to let you know you have unlocked one or more port keys. I hate it being in the middle of and doing something and the port keys are unlocked and I have to tap every single one notifying me that I've unlocked the port key. No longer, it is done. One tap, one notification, all of them are done. All the ones you've unlocked in that session, you will be notified. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Uh, ministry ID, tap and hold achievement badges in your ministry ID to get a reminder of which achievement you completed to receive the badge. Again, it's just easy to go through the, like, this just helps. It just makes things a lot easier. Uh, added spell energy to rewards if you win a wizarding challenge at a sponsored fortress. Uh, that's, that's if it, I don't know how I feel about that. If it's added, 
then you know alongside with the family xp the wizarding xp and the challenge xp and you get spell energy then that's that that's clutch if it's not and it takes away something i don't know i doubt they do that because they've been killing it all with all the other updates but nonetheless i'm loving it i'm feeling it let's go um and then the bug fixes on the bottom um all clutch but yeah uh <laughs> wizards unite update 2.4.0 uh, coming in clutch we have a brilliant event coming up uh, in a couple of weeks actually uh, which is huge I thought they would do a Halloween themed one uh, maybe like have the troll uh, from the first movie or something but it is what it is like I don't care give me them restricted books give me them scrolls give me them family XP uh, so I can get more scrolls but uh yeah man i'm i'm excited uh we didn't get one for the month of september so like october is coming in full force this update is amazing you guys go try it out see how you feel about it uh let us know in the comment section below which update is your favorite which is very hard to do for me personally but anyway man thank you guys so much for stopping by if you are new subscribe to the channel here you'll be getting all the latest and greatest in Wizards Unite content. So if this video is kind of something you're into, consider subscribing. Also, follow us on our various forms of social media, Instagram, Twitter. We post daily Instagram. Particularly, we have our AR photos. Um, I'm going to be doing a video collabing with another WooTuber, so be on the lookout for that. Appreciate you guys. Have a wonderful day. I'll see you guys in the next video. Until next time. Oh,